Alright guys, what's up? This is this is um Freaky Productions off of uh TTG and Freaks Productions <coughs> on YouTube and I'm showing you guys today how to make a Cold World War ISO. Um I was known once for being the best World War ISO hoster, had moderators comment on my stuff, but then I quit hosting just for boredom and uh now I'm back because computer games suck, they're just boring. Um, so you guys will need three programs and um, seven parts for COD World War ISO and a patch. I'll have this in the download link in the description as well as all uh, this stuff. Just Google this. Google COD World War ISO uh, download and it'll take you to the one. Uh, if you guys need any help just comment and um yeah so what you will need to do is go to where you saved your seven parts right click new folder and just name it world war iso click enter and then highlight over these seven parts not the folder seven parts click extract files and go to where you saved it call it world war iso world war iso where you just made that folder inside the world war iso folder with some parts and then just click OK. And this will take about um four minutes. Yeah, be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. And um as you can see it took five minutes and like si uh sixteen seconds. Yeah. Five minutes, sixteen seconds. Seventeen. Oh fuck. Oh well, it's almost done. There it is, and you'll just it'll be like that. And just go in your World War ISO folder, and you should see two folders like this. And that is very good. You're on your way. Um, so what you need to do now is right click ABGX360 and run it as administrator. I will have these down links in the description. Click Options. Check Fix Video Padding. Check any DVD uh, data style corruption. Auto Fix to Level 3 and adjust SSV1 angles. And uh, click that little folder right there. Go to where you um saved your World War ISO right here, and uh, you should see this big folder, big, 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 big size. Double click it, and then just uh, click launch, and that'll take two, three minutes, depending on your computer. But yeah, it should always take you know two minutes unless you're living in a fucking cave. I'll right, be right back. All right, guys, it is um four seconds left. And I'll show you what you guys should get. This should be yellow or green. It's green, it's good. Yellow, fine. All CRCs, uh, CRCs match. All right, so just click spacebar. Keep ABGX360 minimized. We will be using that later. Run WX360 as administrator. Uh, click file, open. And then go to where you saved your World War ISO, right here. And then do the same big ass file, big size. And then it'll take like two, three seconds for this to come up. Do exactly what I do. Right click Code Post GFX, extract it to your desktop. Do common.ff, extract it to your desktop. Do Nazi Zombie Prototype, the first one, extract that to your desktop. Ooh, mine should have been done a long time ago. Yeah, it's done. And then do default dot xex. Extract that to your desktop. And then do it in the same order. This is where your uh, what sometimes you pay money for for your patches come in handy. And this tour I'll be doing the uh, Motion Flex V2.1. I'll have that in the download link. So right click Code Post GFX IFF. Replace it with the Motion Flex V2.1. Common FF, replace it with the Common FF and Motion Flex V2.1. And then go to Not Sign Prototype, replace it with the one on your desktop that you extracted. And uh, do that with the same with Default XEX. Always do Default XEX last. Always. And then it'll be done like that. And then just click File, Exit. And there. Now open up ABGX360 and just click launch. If you minimized it, 
like you were supposed to. If not, oh, well, basically, if you minimize it, it saves you, you know, three minutes going back, checking over if everything's right. Um, yeah. So, in other videos, you guys will see, like, you know, ooh, you need to do your console region code, you need to have all this exactly, you know, you don't need to do that. Really think about it. What is the point? Why does the disk need your console region code? Hmm? Yeah. Um, this works for me all the time, and um, sometimes you do that, you will enter it wrong, and it will actually mess your disk up. So, yeah, just do exactly what I did, and um, you should, you know, uh, you should uh, be ready. If you have that, it should help you. Uh, be back in like four seconds. No, like 40 seconds. Alright, guys, it's almost done. Okay, sorry. And if you get this, that is perfect. Um, if you get this, um, don't be afraid. You know, it is number three. Game data was intentionally modified for some reason. That was done in ABGX 360. Um, yeah, so uh, what we did in ABGX 360 was implemented these modded patches that, you know, you pay money for, that coders code, for you to have mods. Sorry. Um, so it was number three. So press any key, you just click space bar. You can close ABGX 360 now. Um, now right click image burn and run as run as administrator. Sorry. And uh, first thing you need to do is click right image file to disk, and then click tools settings. Go to right. It'll be it'll be like this. Um, calculate optimal. Click user specified, and in sectors and LZO you see. L0, you will see a little text box right here. Uh, just type 1913760. That is what you need for your um for the correct you know layer break to go into your disk, and then just click OK. In other videos, um sorry, but you will see you know just people just fucking with all this shit. You don't need to do that. Mine works 100% of the time. Never like never gets errors. Always works. So just yeah, all you gotta do is write do that one nine one three seven six zero and click OK and then please select the file right here click this button and then go to your desktop and then wherever you put your call to your ISO and do the one kilobyte folder do not do this if you do this then it won't work that's so many gigabytes that it just won't go and um so do the one kilobyte folder you always need to do that um so just yeah do that and then write speed if you just got this it'll be at either AWS or max usually AWS so write speed you need to go to 2.4x that's what you uh... that's a correct speed to get all the data written onto your disk and then make sure verify is checked and then click this button once you put the correct disk in verbatim uh, Dual layer, uh, dual layered DVD-R. I'll go to it real quick. Um, verbatim. You can find these at your local stores. Verbatim, DVD-R, 8.5 GB, gigabytes. Just, you can find these at Fry's, Best Buy, Walmart, all that. Um, yeah. So just you know, it's pretty cheap. They're the best verbatims. Always recommended. They are the best. And um. Yeah, once you pop that in, make sure it is that, uh, that disk. Just click right. And it should take an hour, hour half. You know, if it doesn't, if it just goes like snap, then you did something wrong. But never has that probably ever happened. If it takes hour, hour half, perfect. That's the right speed, um, implementing all the changes you made to the DVD, um, onto your disk. So yeah, please comment, rate, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you need any tutorials for you on anything, just, just, uh, you know, comment. Uh, if you need any help, I will be glad to assist you. And, uh, yeah guys, so please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope this video helped you. Thank you a lot.